Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I'm PwnShop135, and in the last episode, we made contact with the Mi with the Minish. You know, that's what we're just going to refer to them as. You know, unless specified. We made contact with the Minish, and they led us to Deepwood Shrine, as well as we got the annoying chatterbox known as Ezlo. <laughs> If you have any hopes of forging the sacred blade, do as the Elder says. Go find the Earth Element. Yes, in this episode, we're going to be tackling Deepwood Shrine, where the Earth Element sleeps. Now, we can throw around these pots for a couple hearts. As you notice, we have a spider web to deal with. We'll have to deal with those later. As for now, which, while we're at it, why don't the sword chop down these spider legs? Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna progress forward into this dark room with these slugs. Pretty easy, two hits to take out. And now we're gonna step on all these switches to light up the room like dynamite. And we get a chest for our troubles, which turns out to be a spare key, or a small key. You can use it to open locked doors and blocks. You can only use it in this dungeon. Yep, standard fare for Zelda. Huh, there's a locked door. See if you can find a key to open it. Yeah, I already had a you, buddy. Right. Now, these slugs will start dropping from the ceiling. So, be careful. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it, press R to grab it, and then down to pull. We do that. Get a bridge. Now, if you look at the ground, these dark marks are indentions showing how far you should go. It's a nice little help, helpful guide, but uh, this mushroom we're going to go as far back as we can and yeet. Smash up more of these pots. And if we ever want to go back, we just do that. But we don't need to go back. Alright, these things are so annoying that we can't do anything with them right now. So. Wow, look at the size of that barrel. <laughs> oh, 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 right. How silly of me. It's not that. It's not big. We're just small. So yes, yeah, as, as you can see, this thing makes uh, dust patches which which slow up our progress. And when we come over here, we push this button, torch the vines on it, kind of loosening it up. Anyway, we're going to hop inside the barrel, go to this door. We're going to go over here and we're going to press the, uh, well, we're going to push this statue onto one of those buttons, and then push another button there. Easy squeezy lemon peasy. Alright. Alright. Now we're going to hop in the barrel. Oopsie doodles. Uh, move, move, move. Ow! Jerk, move. Alright, so now we can... What? Hey! Be careful, my lad! The barrel just moved. Now we can now move the barrel and get to different places. Like we want to hit this uh, set of steps, which we can't do anything about. So let's hop in the barrel. And we'll go here. Now we have a new enemy. Uh, I'm not sure what they're called, so I'm just going to call them sp a scuttlebutt, uh, scuttlebugs, because. Okay, come on. As you can see, they start to scuttle about when they see you. So. Right, uh, 
can't do anything with that from this side. But we're going to take this mushroom. And we're going to pull it all the way back. Get across these pots that give us absolutely nothing. Anyway, we're going to climb up here. We're going to turn the map. Standard fare for Zelda. Now we want to take this and we want to stop at this invention for a short hop. And we can go here to go back. But we don't need to, so we're going to go forward. And deal with more pests. Now, you can see what's going on here. What we, what we need now is something to hold down this switch. Yes. Push some pots. Yep, and that's all there is. And we're going to... Once you take hold of something with R, you can push or pull it. This is extremely important, so I hope you take pains to remember it. Of course, of course, shut up. So we're going to back the statue off. Pull this statue inward. Pull that statue inward. Pull this treasure chest. Get another small key. And how we came in is exactly how we're going to come out. So. Oh, come on, Link. Since we don't need that anymore. Yeet. To need to uh, change the barrel. Okay, there it is. There we go. Right, head right and pop this one open. And I'll come up here. And we can jump down, but we don't want to do that quite yet. Because we have other pressing matters to do in this room. Gonna ride the mushroom across. Oops, too far. Right. Press the button to fix the bridge. We're gonna use that bridge to blast away. More slugs. Can one of you drop a heart? Right. We're going to use this statue. Uh, Alright, yeah, yeah, I, I just messed up. Hang on, I can fix this though. Like that one back. That one and boom. Now we got a mini boss room with these scuttle bugs. Pretty simple stuff. And it gives us another small key. Alright, this takes us back to exactly where we were, so now we want to go up. And drop down. Get that part back. Defeat more of these scuttle bugs. We have two paths we can go by. We can go this way. We can go down here. And this just takes us all the way back to the beginning. So now... Get rid of those guys. Go over here. And we can't progress. Because of a lousy, rotten spider web. Oh well, no matter.
go back this way, and we're going to go downstairs. Because we want to take this pot, pick it up. Now there's a puzzle. I suspect nothing more we can do right here. Let's press on. Perhaps we can work this from another angle. But while we're here, let's go ahead and get the compass. Use it find location of hidden items. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you said, we're pretty much stuck up in this room. So let's go back out. this room and see what's behind locked door number one it's mini boss time secret to this is you gotta smack the caterpillar on his nose and smack the whips that pop out of his body i don't know it's weird but that's what they wanted like on its tantrum then the next one be uh. And easy squeezy lemon peasy. For our troubles, we get the dust jar. Hold down the button to draw things in, or release it to fire them out. Okay, yeah. So, yes, we get the, the weapon of the dungeon. The gust jar, actually, I want that. Gust jar can suck things up. Think of it as the suck cannon for Ratchet and Clank. We use it to pull off all these spider webs. And if you pay attention to the color of the gust jar, it's the strength of the shot. Blue is a weak shot, yellow is a strong shot, and red is a power shot see we're locked out, but we can progress through these spider webs. We're going to go, we're going to do a little backtracking as, uh, well, we can use these pots of, as ammunition. We're going to press these buttons to make different things appear, such as treasure chest with 10 mysterious shelves. I'm not sure what they're for, but let's just hold on to that one for now. Uh, a big thing to note about the uh, let's call it second, the Gus jar is when you've got something you know, in your grasp like this pot right here. You're stuck in that, in this position until you fire the shot. Ten times worse when you're going over these dust clouds. Oh. But now we can deal with these guys because we can suck out all the dust from them. And while they're discolored like that, we can swat them. Well, I'm sorry, we can strike them. I don't think swatting is a uh, kosher term anymore, so... this button over here and we get a blue war point we gotta remember that because that's the only way we're gonna be able to get to that heart piece and for button number three we get another treasure chest with 10 more mysterious shells what those will do will be determined later on so I can go ahead and tell you it's nothing important so. but it is required for 100% in here we have heart piece number three. Yes, this is our third heart piece. Now I don't know why it's so tough to go through these the pages of this uh for now. Alright, but I'll take care of those later. So we have three heart pieces. Now, we're, we're going to want to uh, 
well, we're going to want to backtrack. I almost said regret. But you see that panel with the uh, spider web? We're going to go ahead and get rid of it. Roll the barrel and plumb it. Alright, so we're going to be riding this lily pad. Now what? Unless we find a travel by water, we won't be going much further. Yeah, way ahead in the foot. Alright. Come on, look that up. There we go. Alright, I won't get his attention because you can see what a basic shot does. And that's what a strong shot does, but let's see what a power shot does. Kicks us along very nicely to a locked door, which we can't do anything about, so we're going to go ahead and go the other direction. Hold up. Now to get the lily pad to, to stop or you know slow its descent, you're going to have to fire in the opposite direction. Ah, you got you got five rupees. That's kind of nice. Um, I think I made an oopsie. Yeah, I made an oopsie. So we're going to get back on here, and we're just going to go ahead and reset the room. I made an upsea. We're going to take this pot and we're going to shove it to the right. We're going to push pot. Ride this lily pad over here and look where we're at. So now we're going to go this way. Come on. Yeah, those flies get really annoying. We get a small key. And that was essentially our tutorial on the gust jar. back in this room As you can see the ghost of the gust jar does not affect every enemy so, so we're going to come through here push this button for another treasure chest and it's 20 mysterious shells Now, we want to start uh, backtracking. Let's go ahead and collect that last heart piece, or that heart piece that, we, that has been taunting us. 
Got a piece of heart. You complete a new heart container. So, yep. There we are. And we're going to come over here and we're going to take care of these spider webs. Or at least one of them. Because... We get 20 rupees. That's great. That one, and then we're going to take care of this one. So, um, a new trick that, the, well, I'll get to it when we can access the boss room. Because that's the boss door. So we want to go back. And we get ten more mysterious shells. How day. Alright. Oh right. I remember now where I've gotta go. Alright. No matter where the lily pad is at, it will always spawn down here if you fall down. So you don't have to worry about, oh, where did I leave that movie pad? Yep. Oops. Went a little too fast. Well. We gotta break in the heart container somehow. Now, for these slugs to actually be a threat to us, they have to fall on the lily pad. Anyway, let's use our last big key, oh, our last small key. For this mushroom maze. Right. Now, for something they haven't taught us yet. Use the gust cannon. Gust jar. Too far. To suck up the mushroom. Flap. Oof. Too far. Well, not far enough. There we go. And we get... Big Key. Use it to open big doors. And we get the last teleporter. So let's go ahead and ride that puppy to the... To the foyer. Get ready for the next battle. Get ready for the next battle. Alright, use what we learn. Go ahead. Stop that. Phrasing. Oof. And we're just going to clunk our head on the door. Here will be two hearts. Three hearts. Four hearts. I expected a third, but oh well. Go ahead and go in. It's raining. Goop. Any goop. Yes, the first boss is a green shoe. I really love that for a first boss because it gives you the idea any enemy could be uh, could be your worst nightmare. Alright, what well, we gotta do is just uh, shrink his base and with his uh, dead tuna head explore, we just gotta hit it. He does look like a 
a dead tuna. Then we just go into the process. Be careful about impacting you into the corner. We just gotta keep an eye out for where he's about to fall. That's it. Dunzo. Alright, and for our troubles. We get the Earth Element. You got the Earth Element. The power of the earth is the source of all living things. The earth element is the embodiment of that power. Alright. Got ourselves a heart container. Your life energy has increased and been replenished. Ah, we've got the earth element. You've got to go tell the elder at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a minute. You've retrieved the earth element from that fiend infested tribe. Incredible! Humans are amazing creatures. The Elder is sure to be amazed too. Right, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna talk to the old man. So you found the earth element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Cor uh, Cornell. There you will find a man named Malar. Among all the minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I am certain he will reforge your, bro your broken Pecori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. Gonna open up his curtain. Phrasing. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great, Elder. We are in your debt. We shall head for Mount Cornell at once. Alright. Pass through the threshold. And we're out of the village. I want to come in here and there's a stump. But before we go to the stump, let's go to the Smish house. Green clothes and a mystical hat. Sir, would you by chance be Link, the one who found the Earth Element? How did you hear about that so fast? Surely you are. I've heard so many tales of... How many tales are there? Just the one? I am Bellari, researcher of antiquities. I'm also... Well... A bit of inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. You got a bomb bag. And it has ten bombs in it. Now you can blow up lots of stuff. Let me know if you find it useful. Bombs, dude. Anyway, we're going to progress forward. Chop over grass. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hmm? Wow! It blew up. Hey kid, look! Look at where that stone marker used to be. This is, there's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, this must be... Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm? 
helpful as always. I come up north, and there are three minute sized holes that we can't do anything about. Remember those for later. Anyway, um, and there's the debris he mentioned. Go ahead and pull out our bombs. Walk away. Go bombs. Alright. We are free of the Minish Village. And that'll do it for this episode. Next time on Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap, we make our way to Mount Cornell to seek out Malari. See you guys next time.